Hello, welcome, welcome. My name is Kate. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. And I just wanted to thank everyone for all the awesome comments and questions and helping each other and helping me. Um, it's been really helpful, so I really appreciate it. And I wanted to say I have started this like three times because every time I say it, it's like an eight minute introduction and that's like, but if this is, I'm just going to put a marker at the bottom, like you can skip the introduction unless you know accounting and then you have to say. So the other night after we got that someone is making a ton of money on this situation and you know, the simple, you don't even have to go to cop camp or you anything, you can just watch TV and you know that it's like sex, money, and jealousy are the three reasons. You always start inside their inner circle when you find someone, according to cold case, and then you follow the money. So what I did was I went to the University of Idaho's financial statement and I downloaded it just in case it mysteriously disappears. But I have questions and I haven't even really looked into it. And I did take like business accounting. I went to, I went to school. So I, I have my background is like business, but I don't love accounting. And maybe this is a really simple answer. But the question that I have is the financial statements that are posted on the website right now say June 30th, 2022 for the previous year. Okay. That's Probably no problem. That's no problem. That's not the sketchy part. The sketchy part is there's not June 30th, 2022 or 2023 for the fall, the previous year. Like why? We know they got a big grant, but to me, that just sounds suspicious. Like that's sus to me. And I'm not an accountant, so perhaps that's really normal in the accounting world. I don't know. Um, but I think that that's something I downloaded them just in case they disappear. And I was going, I mean, actually just spent a couple hours looking at it because I was, well, not at just that, but I'm starting this a little later than I wanted to, because I just wanted to get to the, um, bottom of something. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let I've already called in all the angels and guides and set sacred quarters, like the sacred space. And, oh, another thing, sorry, one last housekeeping thing. If any of you guys are trying to learn tarot, want to understand it, there's a, an awesome teacher on YouTube. His name is Ariel, Ariel Gatoya. So it's A-R-I-E-L-G-A-T-O-G-A. -G -G I don't I love him. Absolutely love him. His voice is really calming. He has a great presence. So I just thought I'd pass that along. I was listening to him today and I just thought of that. Um, the other thing is, is I did find a picture of the foundation of the last TikTok. I'm sorry, the last video that Drip Drop did. It's called Queen Road. We've been calling it King Road. I don't know, but that's something weird, but I found, um, thank you for sharing your dream last night. I found a picture of the foundation that I think she was trying to show us or like with her bed in the room. She, Cause she had put it on Facebook marketplace or something. Somehow some TikToker, probably, I don't know who, but don't worry, I saved that too. I um, can, I'll post it in here so you can see what she was showing you or what I, what I got from it. Um, so if there are any accounts in here and maybe that's totally normal, it seems weird to me because I was like, I had to do like financial accounting. I had those classes and business stats, but the main thing I am pretty sure of, like, I don't know if there's an accountant in here or anyone who knows any more about it, please jump in because I thought it was weird. And if you can save me a couple hours, if not, we are going to do a deep dive together. We're gonna, not tonight by any means, but um, 
if there's not a reasonable explanation, then I feel like that's a pretty good place to look. And maybe there's nothing there. So in recap for last night, we did the, um, and maybe this, if there are any trans people in here, please tell me how you would prefer. Does it offend you that, like, my friend's daughter has gone through the entire um, process. She's now fully, she's had the surgery, she's done the whole thing. And so I just want to be very respectful. And I, if this is, if, please just tell me how to be a polite and, and kind because I want everyone to feel good. But for some reason, it just makes me super uncomfortable, this whole asking if they're trans. And maybe that's just because I don't know enough about it. So if there's also anyone in here who can just tell me if it's totally normal and it's okay, I'd like to know that just because I get really uncomfortable and I am like sweating. So one of the questions, okay, in recap, last night, we asked four times, uh, D-Bag is not trans. I got a hard, I got no four times. I mean, <laughs> like, there was no way to go around that was a no. I also asked if Zana was pregnant, got a no. Um, the curious part, though, is that I did get the Dylan, uh, D-bag was with child, and I saw a bunch of pages, a bunch of nights, and the emperor consistently. And I never saw, there's a card, it's the six of wands that represents those two. Dylan, uh, the queen of swords and her boy, ex-boyfriend, or wherever they are today, I have no idea. But the point is that he didn't show up once. So it's just, oh, and by the way, this is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Thank you for coming. Do your own research. These are just some chick with tarot cards. Um, so that is all the housekeeping. We got it in seven minutes. I'll put the thing down there um, and we can figure that out. So if the next question that we're going to ask, and I just want to say, I just saw a comment come through. I have zero tolerance for bullshit. And I'm just going to say that right now. Like, absolutely none. There's like no bullying. No, I'm not. I just don't tolerate it. I have no time for it. And if you're rude to me or to anyone in the group, I'm just deleting. You. No, you're going to get blocked and I'm not going to play. I just don't have time for it. And I don't want that attitude around here. So I just saw a comment come through. I have no idea. It looked rude. So I'm just setting the stage. So we're all on the same page. Okay. So that's just not that. I just don't want to have a community that's like, I'm, that's just not my jam and I'm not into it. And if there, are, if I see it or like, obviously don't like tell me because <laughs> we're all adults, but don't be rude or you'll just get blocked. And I don't know if that's rude to say, but I just felt like I needed to say it because I just saw, I think, a comment that I just saw on time for it. So um, with that being said, I want to look into um, if Bethany is trans. I didn't even think about it. So I'm just going to do upright yes, reversals no, and not read them. I'm just going to do upright yes, reversals no, and actually I'm just going to see what happens. So is, I didn't even think of that. Is Bethany trans? Yes, no, no, yes, yes. And here comes frat row. Oh no. Well, the answer is yes, that I just got. What this is, okay, so. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna read them. Uh -huh.
I'm not laughing about this. I'm laughing because it's like, of course, of course, of course, Dylan's not. Oh, D bag's not. That would make so much sense though, because of course, that's like a red herring. It's like, go look at Dylan when we really or but let's do it again. We'll just, we'll do two out of three. We'll just do two out of three. Upright, yes, reversals now. No, yes, no, no, no. Okay, that was definitely a hard no. And so the next one will be our tiebreaker. If we get a best two out of three, upright yes, reversals no. No, yes, no, no, yes. Nope, she's not. Um, the cards that came out, I didn't read the other ones. So I feel like I need to clear these and then we'll do a reading on it. There's something here though. Actually, I'm just gonna leave them because there's something here. We have the thief in the night, you know, our sticky fingers, we have sticky fingers. We have the chariot, judgment, and the high priestess. So the high priestess is like, she's a ride or die. Like, she's ride or die. She's your connection to your intuition, your judgment in reverse. <laughs> we also have the Queen of Wands. We have the Chariot in reverse. And we have our seven of swords in reverse. And our friend, our little buddy, Ethan's here. Okay, so we need some clarity because the cherry in reverse to me is, well, it's not moving. It's like your plans have changed. You're not going anywhere. Stop. Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm already hot. Hold on. Oh, my. So. The Seven of Swords is in reverse. That's like truth. Truth is coming out. The Chariot, it's like, nope, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here. Done. So do we have truth? You're not going anywhere. We have the Queen of Wands sitting on her thing. We have Judgment in reverse. And then it ends with the High Priestess. We have... Ethan, he came, so the way that Ethan has represented himself, like through these readings is as a wheel. So he's a wheel. So he's either the world or the wheel of fortune. And I'm just saying, Ethan, I'm sure it's all four of them. I just have not felt the rest of them that I, just because I've felt Ethan. So. So some cards just jumped. Oh, 
Oh, the world's here too. Okay. I'm going to, I mean, I think that we might have a situation here. The situation, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to clear it and then we're going to do it again, is that Bethany might be way more involved than anyone has given her credit for. I mean, this card is notoriously, whether it's the hermit, he was down in the, allegedly down in the tunnels, whether it's the queen of swords, whether it's you name any of them, they always get this. And I've been reading it like super high anxiety, stress, staying up all night, all everything, everyone's seen between the lines. Like these kids are channel, like coming through. And I, you know, I don't. So what this is looking like to me and this is high level, we're going to go, but go into it is that truth is about to come out. They're not going, or she, this is just for Bethany. The truth is about to come out. Her, oh, her truth is about to come out. She's not going anywhere. We have the queen of wands. I remember in the very beginning asking if she had any skill with the sword. Judgment in reverse. And the high priestess, the high priestess is a ride or die. You know what? First, what we're gonna do is ask if Dylan, oh, if the BJ queen and Bethany are together, like romantically, not just like buddies. Because I did hear a rumor and I think I saw it in the comments too, that, oh no, it was Divine Pathways found that they, there was like, D-Bag was in love with her or something. Um, so that card just jumped and it's been our cowboy. So I'm gonna put him back in and just see, um, are these two dating? Let's just do upright S reversals now and then we'll go from there. I don't know if that's what we're looking at, but okay. No, no, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the answer, I can do two out of three, but the answer is yes. So she's not trans and she's dating Dylan. And these cards are pretty much on brand for D-Bag. We didn't get any major arcana, but we have our page of pentacles. This is Fraro. Then we get the seven of, so this was in reverse and this was in reverse. This is the seven of cups right here, seven of cups. This is like going where angels fear to tread. It's, it to me is also symbolic of El Diablo. This is, um, these guys are fighting. Here is sticky fingers. I guess we're going by that tonight. And then this is the three of pentacles. We have been getting that this was a three person idea or pact or creation. Somewhere this was a three person thing. Here are three pentacles. So not only did this say that, yeah, they're dating, which does, that doesn't really mean that much to me. I played sports with a bunch of girls and like, the, I mean, it, the hot, yeah, never mind. So it's, it, to me, I don't know. Just put it this way. <laughs> I just want to say this one thing. We had a form, we had a formal too. And there were only three dudes there. I was a freshman. And I was like genuinely confused. Like why, it was like this kid that I was hanging out with and two other boys. <laughs> that was my introduction. So 
that being said, that in the college world to me is like part of the goes par for the course because I didn't even know it until I was there. So, and that was kind of funny. That was not a frat one, uh, formal, but that was a sports one. And there was like, there, it was pretty funny. So the point of that is like, I guess we're just going to look into this more because, you know, it would actually make sense if, well, we're just going to see. <laughs> yeah one okay so we have the king of swords we have the three of wands we have our baby making card and that's not really usually i mean it it always can be it's a new beginning it can be an emotional new beginning it can be a baby guess what and guess what? So we have the emperor. We also have the two of pentacles is duality. It can be duality. It can be a choice. We have our baby making card and we have a page and I don't know. We have the three of wands. That's like thinking. It can be, it can be delay. It can be thinking. King of swords speaks for himself. And then we have the tower. And I know I always say this as well. I know that there are readers that say that the tower is like an exciting new beginning. Not for me. All I think about is September 11th. I wasn't even around it, but I mean, I was alive, but I wasn't in America. And I don't think of anything fun and exciting about September 11th. So. Okay, when is her birthday? Wands are fire. We just got three wands right in a row. Judgment again in reverse. Another wand and another P. And here's Ethan. Whew, phew. Aw. And our two of cups. This is what he showed us that night his dad, or his brother. So. I bet you Bethany is a fire sign. Man, I should have looked at a picture of her. We have the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new idea, getting paid. Someone got paid. We have, we have our little page running around, spreading mess or giving messages. We have the Seven of, Sword, of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We have judgment in reverse and we have strength in reverse. In the way that these came out, it's like the emperor and then five of wands, three of wands, two of wands, like all in a row. What did we just stumble upon? What if it was like Bethany this whole time and we've all been picking up Dylan? So this is the five pentacles. This is like spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, mental, spiritual, and physically bankrupt. I mean, there's no money on these cards, like other than symbolically showing us like this all started with three people, this people were paid for it. They had to make some choices. Um, let's get some clarity on the 
King of Swords, let's call him. Just like the first real, well, we'll do the King of Swords. Oh, actually, or we could do the Tower. Let's do the King of Swords. Let's get some clarity on the King of Swords. Temperance. Ooh. Okay, so temperance is like, it can be, um, it's like, it can be an angelic card. It can be in this world and outside. It can, she has one foot in the water, one foot out. It can be like another word or another worldly. Um, it's your intuition. We have the frat boys, blue frat row. We also have the moon, those are secrets. We also have the 10 of pentacles, we know that. The well is run dry. Uh, that's probably why everyone's flipping. And then we have death. We have the magician, as above, so below. It's also like an inner alchemy card. It's also technically second grade. Um, oh, look who showed up. From these cards, I would say she was much, much more involved than anyone is saying at all. She was very, very involved in this situation. Like, we had Major Arcana show up for her, which we didn't for any of the front row or, I mean, we have El Diablo, the Magician, Death, the Moon, Strength, the Tower, the Emperor and Ethan and Temperance. Like these are major, major arcanas for one person that it doesn't have anything. I can tell you there's a lot going on here. So the way you read this is like major arcanas are like the major life changing event. Well, I mean, pick one. Well, okay. Say you're doing a reading. And I'm just going to put all these major arcanas down so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So say we have death, or we'll have the tower. This isn't fine. Usually around the tower will be other cards. So maybe you have a three of pentacles. Maybe you have the seven of swords. And you have, these are like, these are ma major arcana, major life events. The minor arcana, or anything outside of that 22 wheel are minor. Like they're like mundane daily life stuff. I mean, if you got this though, that sucks. But in general, like you would have one major archon usually. I mean, this case and the readings are completely outside of all norm. So we know that, but if you were just trying to learn and you had all of these major arcanas. I mean, I'm telling you, this is not normal. And it's none of our regular players. Like we, I mean, first of all, where's our Hierophant? Our Hierophant's the, the hero in this. But we have Ethan, he's the showing up as the world. Um, we have the Knight of Swords, this is Fry Row. Pages, this could be potentially Hunter John. Um, so yeah, Hunter Johnson was a, page. I think he was running messages back and forth. We have our pregnancy card here. Just really learned that one last night. I wasn't even like, that wasn't even really on my radar. And the King of Swords, that has been known to represent sticky fingers. And We have our happy home though. 
Like, this is, like, delusional. We have the moon, which means your secrets are going to be hidden. We'll never find out. But then right back next to it, this is also secrets coming out. This is, like, emotions. It can be an addiction card. Like, this can also be El Diablo. Like, angels don't want to go anywhere near you. And if you're on the side where angels don't want to go near, I mean, that's fine, obviously, but... Your money is gone. We know that. Imagine if she's the emperor. Well, she can't be. Well, I guess she could be. That would be unbelievably out of left field. So with this reading, what I'm going to say is that um, little Miss Bethany is a little bit more involved than we've been led on to. Or it's somehow Dylan's been taking out a has been taking all the heat for it, which, I mean, I think she deserves it, but in, okay, hold on. Let me preface this. According to the cards, the archetype known as the Queen of Swords has shown up in nearly every single reading that we've ever done on them, ever, in one way or another. So, with that being said, we just brought a new archetype in. She doesn't have one yet because all of them showed up, except not our regular crew. Like our regular buddies aren't here. They usually join the party. So I don't really know what that means. I don't really know if that means, I don't know, I guess we're about to find out though. So this is what we're gonna look for. Oh, great. Well, we just got judgment again and our, oh, our happy home is upside down, in reverse. Yeah, it's probably, you don't need a card reader to say that, but what we do have is like judgment. She's gotten that three times in a row. Um, what I was about to say is we will, if we see more wands, wands are fire, wands are quick. They're fast moving. There's a spark, get the force fire going. The air blows it around, but the spark, the fire, is the one that starts it. And then they burn earth and water gets to put them out. It's all part of the elements. And those are also like pent pentacles, swords, cups, and wands. So just see where we are with this and hope for the best. <laughs> so all right I just was kind of going with I didn't even have a real question in mind I probably should have but what I got was the D card so I know it's probably not appropriate but I've that was how I would taught that's how I learned it so I just go with it so get the Ace of Wands. I don't know what this means other than the D card. It probably it's well, Ace is a new beginning and Wands are Fire, so it's like a fresh new start, something fast. We have Justice in Reverse. We have the Ten of Wands. D Bag gets this all the time. She's tired and she's burnt out. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We were getting that for Hunter Johnson's mom parents the other night. He was getting that. The, both of those, the King and the Queen of Cups, kept showing up. We have the Five of Pentacles. She's bankrupt. <laughs> okay. I think we have the Page of Pentacles. She got paid to something more. She was. We have the Ace of Pentacles. She just got this card. And we have the Empress. We didn't get any lover's cards. We didn't get anything that represents a union of any kind. Unless, no, we don't. So I think she was way more involved than, I don't think she was trying to call 911. Let's put it that way. I saw something that Xana might have been in the fight club. I have no idea. I am not seeing that right now with Bethany. But what I'm seeing is like, 
she was definitely right in the middle of this and she definitely i would say was very 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 involved and the empress is here i did read somewhere or something that oh no back to divine pathways she saw that dylan had a crush on bethany and that's what was like kept them alive or kept her alive I'm not seeing any love. That's not really that surprising. Speaking of these like archetypes that we're working with, there's not really that much love that goes with the swords. Like that's just the way it is. Um, they're not, yeah, I've said this before. They're not known to be warm and fuzzy. They're not like the cups or the pentacles, very grounded, very earthly, very grandmothery. That's what it reminds me of queen of cups, queen of court, uh, pentacles. We are looking at, she was very much, much more involved than we've been led to believe. Oh, as soon as I say that, here's lovers. Oh, here's Ari. Here's Ethan. Oh, he came. So Ethan has, rep if you're new here, could you guys do me a favor and just go watch the beginning? I'm sorry, it'll make a lot more sense. But if you don't have the time. So in the very first reading, that we did, it was, it's labeled one, it's back there. Um, Ethan was either the Wheel of Fortune or the world. And that is notoriously an ending if it's the world. I can't remember which one it was, but it was a circle. The circle of life, like think of it that way. He showed us the fool running in totally blindsided. So we got those two, or we, so Ethan's here. I should just let him take it from here, actually, because we also got the lovers. Right after I said, there is no love on the cards, the very next card I pulled was the lovers. So actually what we're gonna do, Ethan, welcome to the party. I'm just gonna ask him to help us because per usual, we're just kind of going to let him do it. And Okay, we just had some jumpers. Thanged man and the two of wands in reverse. I mean, sometimes I wish these were live so someone could look and see if Bethany's a fire sign. So that would be like Aries, Gemini. No, Gemini's air. But in the air sign, well, I know it's Aries because I'm like a rising Aries and a Capricorn. <laughs> Hi, Bestie. Um, so I'm guessing Bethany is a fire sign. Back to this. We have the hangman. That is literally hanging around and waiting. Depending on the context for the hangman, too, I have read it in the past. I don't think it had to do with this case, but um, as like being tied up against your will. This guy is, I know he's like, and everyone's so nice and cute about it being a new perspective. And yes, that's, it's also like saying that the tower potentially is like an exciting new beginning. Everyone has their own interpretation. There's no wrong way to do any of it. There's no tarot police. So don't, it's however you feel it or read it or whatever. As long as you get the basics, like if you know the elements, that's the four. Um, so anyway, the way that I have read this in the past is she, this little guy is being held against his will because he's being tied up. He can't get down if he wanted to. He's being held against his will. That's how I've read it in the past. Now everything is open for discussion. So so we have the Ten of Wands. That's another fire sign. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the five pentacles. That's when they're outside, bankrupt, spiritual, mental, and physical. Oh, <laughs> here's Favreau. This card is the six of, six, again. six of wands. This card has represented D-Bag and her little boyfriend in the very beginning. I He has not literally come in a, for a while. The reason I was representing them, and I can't remember these specifics, but this is like an outside validation. It's like there's no self-love inside of yourself. You have to get it from outside. 
you need like reassurance, self. It's like, look at me. But in general, this is a fine card to get. For these guys, I have been getting it when D-Bag and her boyfriend were breaking up. Um, because they both need this outside validation. So the King and Queen of Cups, that in the past has represented, that's a question that's on here, is, is Hunter Johnson Kaylee's handler? I was really against reading on those girls just so that I give them like the respect that they need. But we just, I don't know. What we just got were three kings in a row. Well, we got king of wands, fire, king of cups, water, in reverse. These are not good cards to get in reverse. Like, any king in reverse is not good. That's, like, not a good thing. We could have an alcoholism problem. Maybe our dad has an alcohol, drug problem. That's how I'm going to read these. Because it's the nicest way to do it, and it's true. Then we have this card. I wonder if... This card is the Three of Swords, and it has represented, well, a lot of heartbreak. And I can't remember who the last person was. It might have been the D-bag. Someone just got this, but it was, it might have been Ethan. Someone just got this, and it's like the ultimate heartbreak. I mean, and again, Use your intuition if you're an expert, good. Just whatever feels right. What I'm looking at is like, she was way more involved. She might have been in the same side business as D-Bag was. I'm seeing like a lot of cups. I'm sorry, a lot of pages and a lot of um, nights. Those were our messengers like, passing the word and like running in to the house. This is the Knight of Wands. So they're like fast. Swords already, the Knight of Swords upright has his sword already drawn. He's like on a mission, he knows where he's going and he's done. He's, he's like going, it's already in process. If it's backwards, it's like a nightmare. We don't have anything like that backwards right now, except the Kings. So, I don't know. And if she, and like I said, I don't have, oh, I'm just going to keep calling because I don't, honestly, I, you know how I feel about this. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to say it. She might've had a sugar daddy that's not on the books anymore. That's how I'm reading these kings. And I could be wrong, obviously, but that's how I'm reading it right now. We have our night. Ever hangman. Another king, king of pentacles in reverse. And another page. So, um, Does anyone know anything else like more? I need I need to know more about this girl. We have our rest and relaxation card. And this is not my, I look at this and I see death. I've said this every single night for like a week because I get it every night. But this is the four of swords. He has a knife going into his head, his chest, and his stomach. He's laying on a coffin. There's no resting or relaxation. This is full-blown death to me. Read it however it feels comfortable. I don't know. But what I am very curious about right now is why all three of our kings are in reverse. She just got the tar chariot back. This, these are in reverse. I was, these are all in reverse. It's like not good. Well, I mean, I guess it's fine. It, is, it just is what it is. But so we have a six of... So this guy's not going anywhere. Six of swords in reverse. I mean, I 
these this is the ace of wands, this is our D backwards. It means no bright ideas, nothing is coming to fruition. Um, this can be an alcoholism. That I think another page. Oh, and a grief card. And our night. Yeah, I would say she was much, much more involved than anyone said. And we have another page. They had that whole front row running around. I think it was Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Bessie. Um, I think it was Ashley over the reckoning in the beginning, like probably now a year, a while ago. She got something that said like, the left hand wasn't speaking to the right. So it was like this whole thing was getting organized. This whole thing was getting organized, but none of them were together. And I think um, I we have how many pages? Oh, here's a page. Oh, here's a page and here's our page. Here, this is front row. I'm just telling you right now. These kids are all front row. We have the Ace of Swords. This is the, what I have seen as the golf clubs club. Um, however you want to read it, that's how I read it. We are the just making sure. But so we have we have front row right here, and we have our golf clubs. We also have. This is what I don't I don't know. We have three kings in reverse. The only reason to me that you would have three king figures, archetypes in your life, well, hopefully they're not in reverse for very long, I mean, is, you know, and that's, a, that's like, I think that we might have um, an OnlyFans account. That's exactly what this is. And that's no problem, allegedly. These are just tarot cards. I am just reading energy. Then, so we have Frat Row and Daddy Warbucks is gone. Now, speaking of Daddy Warbucks, we haven't seen him for a while. Well, so we have our murder weapon, our Frat Boys, and Daddy Warbucks is gone. Then we have our death card. This is a death card to me. This to me is like the most, oh, sorry. The most extreme heartbreak. Like, I remember getting a read, one of my, I don't know, someone that I actually knew as a person. This was like the hardest card to see because it, that's a long story, but this is like extreme heartbreak. We also have the grief card that D bag got yesterday twice. If we have that cups card, then I'm really going to get, we have the ace of swords. That's our golf club. We don't have the cups card, so we don't have that. But what we do have is like, maybe she's the one grieving. I don't know. But I am seeing, these are two separate readings, but what I am seeing from her, we asked specifically for Bethany. We have a death card. We also have extreme heartbreak and grief. She's has feelings, which is also new to the table. Her girlfriend has in Shona, which is also new. Uh, I, she might be struggling with an addiction. She might have a, a serious drinking problem. I mean, honestly, I don't even, I don't even know. Wait a second. I just got something. Divine to, okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to do another reading on her. Hold on. Divine to, uh, you guys know how I mean. It's the same lady. She had a reading once that said that she was, and he, I don't know, I feel like we need to get a nickname for her now, like, and we're going to call her, well, not that one. We'll find a nickname for her because I, now we're treading where angels don't want to go. So one of the readings that she did, please go do your own research. You all have Google and internet uh, and YouTube. She got something, oh, we're at 50 minutes. She got something like they were, there was something very sinister around Bethany's memories. They were doing something like can, she was going to a counselor and they're like doing things that are not above board shocker. And she 
so what I just like got like uh, intuitively was that to look at that, that's where this is like getting us to so that we can like look into that. So we're going to look in that right now. It's already at 50 minutes. So I might have to stop you guys and do the whole thing again, but we're just going to look into it. I also want to look into it because I know Ashley, hi Ashley, <laughs> has been getting, um, MK ultra. Are we allowed to say that word? I just, there are books about it that are very well written and I highly recommend them. Operation Paperclip, please do your own research on that. It's not a joke. And if you say it's a joke, then please just stop <laughs> to your research. Um, there might be some MK Ultra that's been going on around BK. And so I was actually thinking about that today. Like, how do we ask the cards? But what I just got was that's what this is trying to explain. And I missed it or something. So we're just going to get some clarification. Like, what are we... I'm actually going to use a different deck. Sorry. Um. Ethan jumped. This is our buddy. The world and the fool. So Ethan's taking over. Whew. Feel like we're in good hands now, team. We've got this. Okay, Page of Wands, Temperance, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and Ace of Swords is in reverse. Ace of Wands. So let's just right off the rip. We have Ethan here. That's the underlying energy. He's guiding this. Thank you. Uh, we have the Page of Wands. Pages are our little boys. And I just, oh man. And I just said, oh man, because we got this card. So if you're new here, please just bear with us for a second. This card had always, until this week, represented the archetype that was orchestrating this entire. He was the project manager. And I have a little diagram that I was building as we were figuring it out. Um, it is right here. Oh, no, it's right here, sorry. So we have this little diagram because as we were figuring out the wheel, this, is the, this wasn't literally a wheel. And I know you can't really see it, but that was how uh, we were trying to figure out the hierarchy. That being said, the center of this wheel, and you can see all the people coming in, going out, was always this card. Okay, so we have this guy and this card, always. Until the complete mindfuck of the Chiefin family, it always showed up like this. It always represented that one thing. That night, and every day since, it has shown up as this. So in the tarot world or in my world, I'll just say that, this is also represented. This is a Virgo. I know that because my best friend's a Virgo. And this can be a mental health card, like unmedicated. So what this was showing us was the day that we got a message that this guy was gone, literally. I have no idea if that's true or not. Someone probably does, but not me. That next day, we started getting sociopaths, literally. And I'm just speaking from the cards. Hunter Chapin as this card. That's the ultimate betrayal. We know that. Please go back and watch that one. That one I cannot paraphrase. It was so emotional. So we have our perhaps mentally ill. That is the nicest thing I can say about him. I don't have that many nice things to say about him, but that's my own opinion. So, and he was in reverse just like this. So the point is what I'm looking at, we have our page of wands. 
this is front row. They're all running around, giving the messages. We have temperance. Temperance has almost come up every single poll this tonight too. And this is like, it's otherworldly. It's like, she's angelic. She has wings on. She's one foot in the water, one foot out. She's pouring water. That's very symbolic of your emotions. It's like very much, I'm going, it's a very angelic card. We have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is not our murder weapon, but it is the D card in reverse. Sorry. We got the pregnancy card. Was it? And we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There are well is going dry, we know that. We have the well, well, we might have just solved this. We have our mentally ill brother, and that's the nicest word I can say for him. Other, I don't have, I don't have anything nice to say about him. So, what we have now is the five of ones. This is our fire sign. I'm saying, I think she's a fire sign. Then we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups in this case has never represented the internet to me until this case. And there was something going on. I might have to go watch those again. But it was like, there's a literal cloud on it. And it was, it's somehow I picked up the internet. This is also like a need some alone time meditation off by himself. It's a little cloud holding it. King of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles. So this is like, you know who's strangely quiet tonight? Okay. The way I'm reading this is our little fool is up here. So happy and excited about life. The very next card is his world's ending. That's been him this whole time. We have the page of wands. That's our fire sign. I think Bethany was a fire sign. We have temperance, this is otherworldly. We have the ace of wands in reverse. That can be like delays. That's a great way to say it. It's the delay. Um, we have the Ace of Cups. Yesterday, it represented a baby that was in the bun, in the oven or whatever. This can be a marriage. It's any kind of union, like any coupling of any kind. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Well, we know that means like they're broke. We know that they're getting choked up. We have Hunter Chapin here. We have the fighting cards. I don't think this is a fair fight. I've already said that about 400 times. We have the King of Swords. He is like, and I've said this, and I apologize anyone who's heard this a thousand times. Thank you for your patience. The King of Swords, if I was a shrink or I had to give a psychological analysis on someone using only archetypes and they were a psychopath or a sociopath, I would use the King and Queen of Swords. There's, that's just the way I read, I read them. You might read them different. And if you get warm and cuddlies, then please keep reading the book or whatever you're studying. Um, then we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Fours have been symbolic in this. We've been, gotten a lot of fours. And there was a dream last night with four fours, or three fours, sorry. Now that also adds up to 12, which all the numbers stuff that everyone's connecting, 
isn't even the right street. TikTok or Drip Drop just did a thing that it's like Queen Road, not King. And he even brought his receipts. Like he has the house deed and everything. So check that out. I don't know what we're looking at. And this is like not like yesterday. Well, it feels the same as yesterday. I'm almost like missing our Queen of Swords because at least at least we know what direction we're going in. But she doesn't come to this is telling me. I'm I'm just gonna pull a few more cards and then I'm just gonna say what I I'm feeling. Okay, so this can be. We'll give it okay. Okay, just a minute. Don't forget about me. Don't forget I'm here. Kate, you just asked me to come. <laughs> oh. This has represented. I have a number of nicknames for her because she's earned all of them. In my humble opinion, and Dylan, if you're here, you know it's take it with a grain of salt. Okay, so back to these. This can be, um, this is the Nine of Cups, right? No, ten. No, I'm not. Okay, so this is the Nine of Cups. It can be representative of like a fat, happy man. He's sitting down, he's done all his work. It can be gluttony, it could be addiction. Um, it can be. Well, let's read the cards around it and I'll tell you what it feels like. Oh, then. Guys, did we get a definite no on Hunter banging BJ or whatever? The, the BJ queen is like, did we get a no on that? I'm not, I am not saying that's out because we have the queen of wands. We have the queen of swords. We have the hermit in reverse. We have her. Eh, everyone's seen between the lines. I can't sleep. I'm so stressed. I'm so anxious. And I've said this before. Some readers think this lady can walk away. And I think that's cute. But this woman is not walking anywhere. I'm in my opinion. She has a blindfold on. She's tied up and she has eight swords around her. This is more like what Ethan looked like probably before that night or at that night. Um, we have the emperor here. So, I'm not, I'm going to do a reading. I'm just going to do a quick 10 card or five card poll on Hunter and Sticky Fingers because I'm not convinced that they are. <laughs> that would make sense though. The same way that it made sense that our executioner was literally there and didn't even have to leave the house. Allegedly, in my opinion. No facts here. Sorry, Ethan. Oh, oh sorry, Ethan. Our Hunter and Dylan. The King and Queen of Swords. Our Hunter and Dylan. I was going to ask if they were dating, but perhaps we'll ask if they're the King and Queen. Well, we know that bag is the queen of swords she gets it every time no one has ever ever gotten it ever like she only showed up when i asked for her. hi key don't forget about me so we're just gonna do upright yes reversals no this makes sense this makes sense no 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 okay but you want to know what cards we oh, okay cards that we got these are all no's Allegedly. So these two are not banging or whatever. We have our little, we have our little fool. Every time he comes, big smiles. We have, all right, where do you want me to start? Our Knight of Pentacles, High Frat Row. We have a King of Swords. We have the anxiety, stress. Um, seen between lines, all my secrets are coming out. I can't sleep. We have, this lady is not walking away. I'm just not going to go for it. It does not feel right to me. This lady is tied up. And then, welcome to the party. And oh, thank God, thank God. Justice is right here. Oh, and El Diablo. And the magician, we also get that a lot. Oh, and okay, so you guys get that idea. 
We also get this card a lot. This is the Three of Cups. This is what Ethan was showing us the night that, I think this was the night he showed us that his brother betrayed him. This is also, there have been always, from the beginning, um, three people that planned this entire, orchestrated this thing. Well, you know who's on the cards right now? If we can figure out who the King of Swords is, which we have Frat Row, those kids did not make any of that up. We have the King of Swords and we have our Queen of Swords. So there's two of the three right now. If we can figure out who that, and there's no Emperor. Justice is here. I'm gonna put her up with Ethan because thank God the US government's here. I've never loved them as much as I love them right now. We have El Diablo. El Diablo, he can be good. And I mean, we don't always have to see him in a negative light. He is a Capricorn. But you know who else is a Capricorn male? Johnson, Hunter Johnson. Didn't we ask about this? Didn't, so this is our BJ, I don't know. She's not our BJ queen, that was a different case. She's our queen of swords. What a, I've been calling her D-bag. This is our Aquarius and our Capricorn. Did we ask that last night? I am feeling good about this because we also have, this is an earth sign, pentacle. Aquarians are air, are sword, they're swords. Well, good thing there's no shortage of those. I think we might've just found our match made in psychopathic hell. Capricorns, I've never dated a Capricorn guy because I just have no interest. I don't know why. I just haven't. But my friends have. And they've asked me about dating a guy, a Capricorn guy. What I can tell you about Capricorns is like, I mean, <laughs> the nicest thing, I used to make jokes that the nicest thing I could say about him was like top places or something like that, or cold or something, because my birthday is in January. So I think that we might have just made a connection then it's like if anyone can find it uh this one's birthday our astrology expert was feeling aquarian which makes sense because we have swords which i was taking a little more literally earth is pentacles and no this guy has had no problem showing up to the party. Like, oh, I wonder if we looked back how many times these two came out together. And that's what it was telling us. Not, well, I mean, I don't know how she would read this unless you knew his birthday. But like that, when we saw her and Quinn break up, Quinn wanted nothing to do with her. Then we got a reading. And I'm... I feel I'm going to do a five card pull on this. But we'll just see. What we're going to ask is if the Queen of Swords is dating El Diablo. And if, please, we're just going to have to, oh, and we're at an hour and 10 minutes. I'm going, I'm not going to read any of the ones that just pulled or just jumped. Um, we might have solved our cold, one of the, so what we want to know is, is the Queen of Swords dating El Diablo? Or dating seems like a big word for these two. I would call it more, they're like, they both need each other to do something else. I'm not feeling any love. I mean, El Diablo is not necessarily known for love. What he's known for is obsession, addiction, like addictive.
It would just make sense if it was though. All right, I'll write yes reversals now. <laughs> I'll write yes reversals now. Is El Diab are El Diablo and our Queen of Swords kicking it? Hold on, that wasn't right cut. That felt weird. We're just gonna do upper yes reversals now. Yes, no, no, yes, yes. Oh, all right, so we got it. Yes, they are, and I'm gonna stand by that because we've got the lovers. Oh, we also got the star in reverse. This was the night that Ethan's star went out. Yep, I'm gonna write that down. I'm putting it on our list and I'm standing by it. That HJ, who now has become our El Diablo. It's not really the spot you want, but um, the devil, it's number 15 on the tarot. She's a Capricorn male. It works. The devil and the queen of swords are, but didn't I just ask something last night? Well, depending on our profession, no judgment, but I also wouldn't take the queen of swords or the devil with like too much love. Um, and fellow Capricorns will understand. There's not that much cuddling. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, devil and a queen of swords. I'm putting them together. I don't know if they're, um, every emotion, like, I know, and I don't even mean normal human, but like the way that people who are empaths or who have natural feelings will not understand this. Like there is, I don't know how to explain it, except please just Google male Capricorns and air, uh, fire, wait, swords is air, air women. There's not like a lot of cuddling and love and stuff. Don't worry. They're like both need each other to get further. And I can just say that for the Capricorn. I don't know. Capricorns just want to get to the top of the mountain. They do not care. They don't want to, they don't care. They want to just be the best. Well, if he's a January baby, I think someone said he was the seventh. Someone's birthday is January 7th. And hopefully it's this kid because I can speak on a January Capricorn, but I cannot speak on a December one. Apparently they're very different. So we have the Queen of Swords and El Diablo are definitely, I think someone actually might've put that in the comments now that we're talking about it, but yes, I'm standing by it 100% because our little man, our big man, Ethan, he's not little, he's our big man. He just kind of reminds me of a little brother. And we have the lovers. The rest of the cards are like spiritual R pentacles. These are El Diablo cards, technically. These are pentacles, these are earth signs. That's another nice way of looking at spiritually, mentally, and emotionally bankrupt and out in the cold. Those are like the nicest ways to say, like these are earth signs. Um, I'm surprised she didn't show up to just like wave one last time. Finally got it, took you long enough. So in conclusion, the way we're gonna end this tonight, we've been here a long time and I love you all very much for sticking it out. Bethany is not trans. I do want to keep Bethany on our list though. I think she's way more involved, way more involved than I previously thought. I think there's a question if HJ, oh, El Diablo. I should probably just put like everyone's nicknames because that's his nickname, is Kaylee's handler. That is not ruled out by any means. I haven't even looked, I'm not looking at the girls. I know I've said that a million times, but. What we did figure out tonight was that our Queen of Swords and El Diablo have something going on. I'm hesitant to call it love just because the only time she's ever shown any emotion out of 30 readings that we're at like 30 readings for these guys and she's shown up every single, I've never ever done one of these without her and I appreciate it. She's here to remind us that she's managing. 
Um, the only time we got any emotion, any emotion was last night when there was serious grief. And now that we know that H.J. is Capricorn, I mean, he probably has been showing up to just as many, and I just didn't put it together yet, but now we do. So, in conclusion, Dylan is not trans. According to the cards, and I'm sticking by them because I asked four times, Xana was not pregnant, and I also asked that four times, or last night. I didn't ask about the other girls. I'm not there yet. But maybe this is the bridge. Who knows? Um, Bethany is not trans, but Bethany is way more involved in this Emperor El Diablo mess than we thought. Um, the Devil and the Queen of Swords are doing whatever the Devil and the Queen of Swords do, which is like, there's what just those archetypes alone want to do is be number one and get to the top. That's like their drive instinctively. I mean, I have never actually looked at the El Diablo as an archetype. It's always been like a kind of the way that the emperor has been an entity. That's always been like an addiction. I mean, it's not, you don't always, and people that say it's nice. Yeah, it's nice when it's upside down in reverse and it's like you're worked through your addictions. We didn't get any of that. I don't think we've ever gotten El Diablo in reverse ever. So in conclusion, El Diablo and the Queen of Swords are doing whatever sociopathic archetypes do. Take that with what you will. And I will love you and leave you. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, that was another, that one wasn't as bad as last night. Last night was confusing, but it wasn't confusing. If I had just like accepted it, then it wouldn't have been confusing. I mean, we got the same thing four times in a row. It took me four times to like accept it. But that being said, I bet if I go back and watch these now, the El Diablo and the Queen of Swords are going to show up a lot. And I wasn't putting it together. I just didn't put it together until today when someone, thank you, thank you, thank you, said that he's a Capricorn male. Now it's like, oh, here we go. So in conclusion, I love you all. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for your likes, shares, and comments. And I just started this, like, in what is this? Well, you can say, well, first of all, I've had the account for a really long time. I just used to stock, but now I'm here. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you all for coming. I didn't forget about Kylie Jenner's reading. I just like didn't feel it tonight. But once we look into the school's financial system, that's oddly missing a year that a mass murder happened. I find that curious. So we'll look into that. And I love you. And thank you all again for coming. And I will see you next time. Bye.